Well, now to the personal pain device that's promising relief from injury. It's called Scanner, and it's attracting interest from academics and health professionals around the country. Unbelievable feeling to be able to run out there for the grand final. Making chaos leading them in great doubt until Friday night. I was just walking around with constant pain every day. No surgery, no medication. If Ray can move his arm to there initially, and then in eight weeks, if he can move his arm to there, we've shown significant change. Developed in Russia for their space program, the idea sounds, well, out of this world. But the first Australian clinical trial of the electrical pain device scanner is about to begin at the University of the Sunshine Coast. You won't know uh, whether you're getting the placebo or the regular device. Dr. Dale Lovell and his assistant Sam are going to put the gadget through its paces and test Skinner's ability to heal chronic shoulder injuries. The patients won't know whether they've been treated with the real machine or a placebo machine and also the orthopaedic surgeon won't know whether they've been treated with the real machine or not. So the idea of the placebo is that the real machine, if it does work correctly as they say, it should far outweigh or improve the, the musculature much more than the placebo machine. Hopefully, they will be able to notice a significant change, uh, not just in the range of motion, but more about in particular the pain that these people are in. So let me know when it kind of gets a little bit more intense. I can feel that yep. a little bit more now, yeah. Yep. We were first introduced to Skinner by surfing champion Lane Beachley. She told Brady Halls she turned to the device to assist with a chronic back injury. It's a really clear protrusion into my spinal cord, and that's what was causing all the atrophy and pain. And I numbness. feel sore looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's sorry incredible. for myself. Yes. <laughs> Lane Payne Skinner helped get her through to her seventh World Championship title. I've had multiple back injuries, I've had quite a few head injuries as well. Come on, Hannah, hold your position. Hannah Campbell Pegg lives life in the fast lane. The two time Winter Olympian feeds off adrenaline but has trouble fending off injuries. Chronic hip pain was threatening her luge career. My physio told me that I'd probably be getting another operation on my hip because nothing was working and my other hip would probably need an operation as well. Why did you decide to start using the scanner treatment? I was trying everything and I got to that point as an athlete where it was, you know, I was desperate. Desperation turned to relief for the two time Olympian after being introduced to scanner. Now I can run. I'm doing everything. I haven't really got any problems in my hip anymore. I tore my hamstring pretty bad uh, and the report after that was uh, I'd be out for the grand final and would, would probably be out for three weeks. Nathan Kalis claims he experienced a similar whirlwind recovery. A week before the 2009 grand final, the Parramatta Eels captain was sidelined minutes into the preliminary match. It was pretty tough to sit there and watch the guys play that game and play so well and then know that they're going to be playing in the grand final. Nathan claims daily sessions with Skinner reduced his time out from injury to just one week. Yeah, you know, once he treated me that first time, it had improved remarkably, and by Friday night, I was able to run, sprint, I got through a full session, and I was clear fit to play. Nathan, Hannah, and Lane are now paid to endorse the product. The scanner device sends an electrical impulse through the skin to the brain to help the brain relief endorphins and neuropeptides and pain relief mechanisms. Yeah. Feel that stronger? Yeah. Therapist Chris Mortensen believes the device works by encouraging the that? body's own yeah. healing system. From the people that come into this clinic we see very good response rates, roughly 30 to 50 percent faster recovery than other methods of therapy. I've been to specialists, I've been to um, all the range of therapists, you know, osteopaths, um, physiotherapists, chiropractors, massages, <laughs> acupuncture, everything. It's not just elite athletes that are claiming the benefits. Robin Holt has been battling chronic pain for more than three decades. The difference from when I first started is quite dramatic and uh, basically I have more energy and a lot less pain. For those sorts of people they have complex pain conditions and they're usually under the uh, directions of a doctor so they need to uh, chart their course with this therapy very carefully so just going out and buying a device and putting it on themselves isn't always the best way to go. It's still early days. Results of the clinical trials won't be available until the end of the year but there are big hopes for this buzzer. From an anecdotal point of view from some of the preliminary stuff we've done so far and some of the results have been quite amazing. I mean, I'm no doctor, I'm no scientist, but I have experienced what it's done, and I would recommend it to anyone.
and we'll bring you the results of those trials as soon as they're available just at the end of the black carpet.